Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with our full, first full day of operations on the new line, if you will. So just a couple of things wanted to go over before I get into um, the new industry and stuff that we got out so far. A couple of things that we did miss in the update first look just didn't see them in the stacks so there you go you know there is the new church model which we will take a look around uh, apparently this is modeled after a real life church so there you go that is there i think these are some of the first models for you know models from the development team and then we have the mine cart so that's cool oh I like the inside didn't even notice that yet that's kind of cool and then we have a little depot that was done so those are pretty neat things to add things are just missed in the update so figured we'd drop those here and then we kind of just get started on the lake valley layout these are just kind of the things that started on spawn you can delete these i've heard that they come back even if you do delete them not exactly sure i have not deleted mine probably don't have the intention of doing that so this is kind of just our uh starter rail that heads on over to our sawmill we have dropped in a couple of industries at this point only have um track to um one and then the start point actually just put in the depot today decided to just put it in along the spawn point so that was not there until now so we'll just have to see how we do the start stuff but this is where we have the sawmill so that is kind of set in picked a nice spot down here way south of the map found a nice flat spot that it fit in pretty well so just kind of take a look around i know some of the buildings you know, it's kind of a, a challenge, I guess, for people who haven't moved industries and stuff before to start kind of figuring out how these things set down and these set down differently, I guess, from what I hear all that. So placing industries, well, I at first was thinking of it was kind of a daunting task. At this point, I'm kind of actually finding some fun in it. So that's been pretty cool. It gives you a chance to go out and experiment and see what you can do. We might find some pretty cool locations and some different stuff. So for all I was worried that it was going to be a super pain, I've been kind of taken to it at this point. Been having some fun with it. Went back at it kind of last night and started having a lot of fun actually moving around stuff. So it's a whole new aspect of the game, something I'm kind of looking forward to at this point. I know I was one of the players who originally was kind of in shell shock of like, but we have nowhere to go. And it's panning out a little. Well, way better than I thought, so I have to go with that, you know. We'll get these loaded up. And then we'll go take a look at the wait, this one isn't auto going, that one probably is. We will go and take a look at the sawmill. That we got track to, and then we can run depot runs. Did kind of test the rail. Probably going to make some adjustments in here. Obviously, not too sure elevations at this point. Ups and downs, not so easy to see on the map. So we will just kind of have to adjust track after we get it there. This one's definitely working for now. Did go with the Montezuma to start. I know now with the choice there, that's going to be a thing for everybody to get the pick so that's kind of cool there we go all right all five loaded up and ready to go did uh multiplayer running yesterday we were running with like four or five people found that the game was running a heck of a lot smoother in multiplayer for everybody hosts clients the whole thing than it ever has quite frankly before so kind of totally surprised i guess you know i would have thought little a few little bugs or something with the new update wouldn't have surprised me when it came to multiplayer but i have to report that our experience at least with four or five um was just buttery smooth across to everybody so there we go Let's see where we're at we'll go ahead we got pressure but we'll let some we'll let some fire build up it's, it's been sitting all night no point in a rushing out new map new biomes definitely finding interesting things here and there i've had a lot of fun trying to get around without like really cutting down a lot of trees actually only had to cut down one tree to get through this 
pile otherwise there was just kind of a break in there so it's kind of cool i have not had to cut down a lot of trees at all which reflects in your experience level that's one thing we have found is that leveling up is going to be a little different now that we aren't cutting down trees absolutely everywhere so it's going to be a load delivered thing have heard some people are having a hard time um getting the xp and or money to always you know always getting paid and that counting um last i heard they they have a team was looking into that so whether that's you know going to be hot patch somewhere or what figure that out but I myself cannot report having any problems. I think everything's been going well. Having delivered a lot of loads, um, unloading logs is definitely a little different than it used to be because they will bounce around a little and sometimes chuck um, chuck one another right out of the drop off. So I don't know if we'll be unloading logs quite as fast as we used to. That might be a thing for sure. Lake Valley Railroad slapped on the side no number on the plate i know that's one thing that's been brought up they just didn't put numbers on the plates except the shea shea got a number plate for some reason all right i guess we don't really want to mess around with this too much from what i hear we need a lot of power coming out here i myself was not driving the loco as much yesterday except with a couple of cars once we got the stack of cars going on i haven't done it i know it'll make this run but from what i hear you kind of need the ump so i'll let that build up a little bit all right make sure that we don't have any brakes on uh, we're just chugging should be good sounds like it's coming out of the hole decent Montezuma, not exactly a speed demon. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully we get up this hill. Let's go. Pick up the pace. <laughs> no, this is, you know, 12 cars all loaded with logs. I think it's 12. So it's uh, 10 or 12. Maybe we only ended up with 10. Go back. I think it's 10. So $500 load if we can get it there, you know. It's not bad to start with. Get some good views. Got some cool rocks off into the background there. Nice, I don't know if there's still mountains or hills either way. I kind of like the look of the new terrain quite a bit. So we can get to the top here we should be good to go it's gonna be a little bit of a pull in here this part I'm probably gonna change drop this down I wasn't really sure what the elevation would do as we were kind of coming out this way so I went with bridge a little bit off the ground just to kind of get through I think in the end we can smooth it out it definitely doesn't have that many grade changes and I can bring this down so it'll run a little faster coming out of here I think will be the point we don't need to turn around and climb this just to go back down as you can see this is kind of the high point in the grade and there's just no real point in having it there so this part will be getting altered but as I said we have very few runs down the track so not altering much right now it's just kind of the first lay it I figure we'll come back smooth things out and do more as we go it's just kind of a rough in Let's find the lines, places we can go. That's that's kind of how I'm taking the project on. I do like the one tree there right on the edge, though, so that stuff's staying. Probably going to lower it all, though. Not sure if we'll stay with the bridge work. Originally, we were kind of thinking, it, or I was thinking, this would stay swampy, so it didn't. That was another part of the reason for going up onto the bridge, which you'll see coming up because we kind of came laying out of a swamp, but I just assumed that was going to carry over this way, but it didn't. So there will be cleanup in this that, that will be seen as we go through the series for sure. But definitely now onto the Lake Valley Railroad and the independently placed industries, and we'll just see what we can do. And what we can make out of it that's kind of my goal 
But I do have to say, one day into it, I'm starting to come around to it quite a bit. My big fear of getting the iron mine stuff like that placed. I think I came out with a reasonable solution for that, so we'll have that coming up as we can progress through. Which should be fast enough because we have the logging camp, the sawmill, and now the iron mine will be next. Getting ready for the smelter. All of those are already placed. No track to them, but that's we'll be getting that in soon. So it should be coming up. Here's where we go through some of the muddy swamp. Do have to give them credit. Like the terrain a lot better with the. We do have huge mud sections and little water and stuff like that. Just something that the old map terribly was missing. The tree stumps and the different types of trees. I had just really actually impressed with that. That's a lot of the stuff we needed. In my opinion, some great backdrops. This should be, um, really I'm looking forward to it now, the more I get into it. So. That's kind of cool. I like it when the update grows on you rather than goes the other direction and you kind of get sick of it sooner. I think this one's kind of cool because it's actually kind of growing on me and I'm warming up to it. So in that respect, I'm liking the update at this point pretty good. Got to give it two thumbs up all the way around. It does take a bit of shell shock in the whole, you know, wow, what a different way to play the game. But there we go, some good looks at the lake. Wouldn't mind seeing if sometime they uh, figure out a little more wave action for that lake there, though. And here we go into our two sides of the sawmill. So we did turn around and just kind of perch it out here on the edge of the lake. Bit of a challenge finding a way for the drop-off and the pickup to, uh, to work and come out right, depending on how you like it. So I did turn around and go with the option of a little bit of a bridge here. And then we go into the wall, just got, oh, actually, this train has horrible brakes. And we're probably not going to get this stopped in time. Let's see. Should have just started off loading, probably. Whatever. A little bit of a backup won't be that big of a deal. Yo, let's start on this end and go this way probably keep from getting slammed into the water 17 times see there's the bounce around in the logs that you know we never saw that before at least i never saw that before i'm not gonna say it didn't exist i think it's part of the you know the popping out logs with the length and then they kind of get a little bouncy sometimes but uh you know that's the that's the least of i'm not complaining much with that all right, those work. Whoa. I wonder if this one will work. Let's just see what we can get away with. Yep, so that one's going to work. I don't see this one working because that's not going to hit the dock. So we are going to back it up a little bit. Now we probably have too many brakes on for that to happen. All right. So we will bring it to a rest right there and we'll just for just to go take a look around at the sawmill and see how we got that to set down I know that um, a lot of the new industry moving around is getting it just to set down to the ground in the way that you know you're happy with the way it looks but we are going to kind of take in the new sites of the Lake Valley Railroad in the process again some cool landmarks off in the distance. It's just, it is, I really do like this map quite a bit. Very happy with the biome switch. This fixes so many things that I've been like, oh, it'd be so nice to have. And it's all in here. So that's cool. Mixed trees again. This is just kind of cool. Like it, appreciate it. Everything kind of actually popped in this one pretty well I guess we will have a few trees we might as well clean up some of this while we're at it this one's definitely staying I know a lot of it I'm trying to take out as little as possible until we kind of decide what's actually going and are we set on this looks good <laughs> for sure so there's some of that some things we have noticed you can um you'll see bigger rocks you gotta pick a pick one out 
find it, but we will go check it. So we did get a pretty clean, you know, the docks are pretty clean here. The stacks are pretty clean here. Found that it just looks um, decent. So that's what we went with. Do kind of like the um, unloading dock out there in the water. It gives it a little bit of a train on the pier look, I guess, if you will. And then rocks like these, I'm not going to do it, but you can cut these with the saw. It's a little weird because, A, they're hollow, but it's the bottom texture you would never see. But it sounds like a tree when they fall down. So that's a little bit weird. I'm sure they'll come up with something for that in the future. But you can remove the big um, rocks and stuff that are in your way if that's something you hadn't seen yet. New feature, going to point it out. So... Otherwise, I know the rocks can be a little bit of a pain. I've chose to kind of weave around them and weave through them. We do have like some mud, I don't know, bumps, whatever you want to call it out here. So a few things had to just kind of weave through. We just chose to weave through the stuff and keep it natural looking. Or as natural as we could. Give it a little bit of, you know, that quote unquote three foot rail look, I guess, if you want to call it that. So we went with that. Gets a little close to the edge. There's a little bit of the, you know, the legs don't quite sit down. But for the most part, I don't think in this one you see it. So kind of let that go. Still haven't done a lot of decoration, did really any decoration. So we got a lot of that that we can use to cover up. But uh, yeah, that's just kind of where we're starting the Lake Valley Railroad. And uh, there we go. Our log pond's actually almost full, 22 to go. So we definitely don't really need to deliver anymore. So they're either going down to the depot or we're going to start shipping cut wood down to the depot. One of the two making some money up to almost $3,000. Not sure what to do about locos and rolling stock just yet. Whole new ride. But I think with that one, we're going to call that one a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.